The new pickup built here in Louisville is going to cure a lot of problems, like all those generic two-row crossovers that dominate our industry. So I want you to close your eyes metaphorically and think about a product. This new truck, based on this universal platform, are going to be more spacious inside than the RAV4, the best-selling car in the United States. But it will have a frunk, and it will have a whole pickup truck bed behind it. No one has seen this kind of flexibility. Tons of room for five adults, bikes, surfboards, work equipment. Whatever you need, you don't have to put it on the top, you don't have to put it on the tow hitch, it's all in the vehicle. It will be faster than our Mustang twin turbo. It will be fully connected with a brand new digital experience no one's seen in our country. It will offer for the first time fast charging, it will have amazing range, it can power your house for six days. You don't need a generator. You just buy this truck. And we're going to start the vehicle at $30,000. Just like old Henry, our idea is that the people who work here at Louisville will be able to buy this car and spend money on other things they love, like vacations and their home and their kids' education. We'll eventually make multiple body styles for work and play. And Doug and Bryce are going to tell you more about actually how we did that. Our goal, again, was to put an affordable, unbelievably great product within reach of millions of Americans built in the U.S. by U.S. workers and not be imported. Why hasn't anyone done that? Because it's really, really hard. And it's now time to write that next future and chapter for Ford. So, all I'd have to say is, let's go Louisville, come on. This was not easy at all. We're fighting a battle globally that is ultimately testing our capability. It's really not about chasing a singular magical secret. Change is, uh, is, is necessary. The mission is to design, develop, architect a new EV platform to build affordable vehicles for Ford Motor Company. We had involvement with both product and manufacturing. Bringing us together to optimize every system, every component, every part with this one end goal. And that's the motivation that drives everyone. Backs against the wall and you got to make it happen. And it became very clear that there's no silver bullet, really. That's kind of where we started to figure out, hey, maybe we could actually build the vehicle differently. Traditionally, all the way back to the Model T, vehicles are built on an assembly line. And it's one straight line. And you just bring all the parts to the car, and the line continues to move. Been around assembly lines for 21 years, and they're built the exact same way, and the same problems are always there. Um, for me, <laughs> wiring is always this nemesis, and if you don't change that input, then nothing else is ever going to change. There were tons of doubts. Teams would come back and say, well, you're gonna fail here, you're gonna fail there, you're gonna fail here. We came up with the Ford Universal EV production system. So it's more of a tree formation. So breaking up the vehicle into three different sub-assembly lines in parallel. And what that's actually doing is shrinking the overall time to go from start to finish with fewer stations and coming together seamlessly. And because of those modular sections, there's no obstruction. You have now full access where typically we would be reaching in through the door, twist, turn in order to install parts. Now everything is right in front of you. Unicastings are very important to this architecture. We can have one large casting as one process, saving time, weight, and cost. This gives you a once in a generation opportunity to architect an entirely new platform with an entirely new powertrain and lower cost for our customer. They saw this as more than an experiment. They saw it as an opportunity to make their mark in automotive. 
The biggest factor that affects the cost of an electric vehicle is batteries. But reducing the size of the battery makes its way into every other part of the vehicle and allows us to make a lot of cost gains. We are going to use lithium iron phosphate batteries. They are cobalt and nickel free. It also serves as the floor, which means better ride, isolation from road noise, better handling. This really allows for a much better fun to drive experience for the customer. The battery, the drive units, and everything are so much smaller that for the same size outside, you actually get more space on the inside of the vehicle. You can put the powertrain in the front or the back. So as a result, we could give the customer more legroom, more headroom, and ultimately makes a better vehicle. Developing this affordable EV architecture has been the biggest challenge of my career, but also give us the profound opportunity to really set Ford up for success in the next 120 years.